My wife and I, Linda, were married in 1965. We were ready to go out and build our future. We were going to have these great jobs. And then I got a job offer from uh, the President of the United States. It was called uh, my notice to report to the Army. And I was shipped overseas in 1968 to Vietnam and served there for 10 months. I was a first lieutenant. I came back and I became an attorney in 1980. In between the time of college and military and my business career, we have uh, four children, three daughters and a son. I retired and I was looking for things to do. I had bought a paddle board, started paddling the back bay, and a friend of ours suggested that I join this group or at least come and see the group. The first story I heard was uh, a pilot of a, he was a B-17 bomber who flew in Europe. He told the story of being 20 years old and being a captain of an airplane that had a, a crew of nine or ten going and running his bombing mission and then losing his airplane where he crashed landed into the Adriatic Sea off of Italy. He saved with all of, of one of his crew and it was such a fascinating story I started going to all the meetings. Captain Olmos, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. The Freedom Committee is an organization of veterans uh, and it's not an organization for veterans. What we do is to go into the schools and give our personal military history. And that got started by former mayor Jack Hammett and a group of World War II veterans. They decided that rather than sitting around and just talking to themselves, it would be great to start working with the students, the next generation. And so it carried on from there. For the What we did in the last four or five years, we've tied their stories to the PowerPoint presentation so that students can see the different things that a service person goes through, the different errors. This is Barbara Hallett. She was in the Air Force and so in the Vietnam era. Where they grew up, especially with people growing up in the Depression. And we also want to have a picture of the veteran when he was, we call it young and pretty, 18, 19 to show the kids that we weren't always this old. Sometimes you go into a classroom and they don't seem to get that, that you were a teenager at one time. We speak to 10,000 or more students a year. We do 32 different schools. We do presentations for civic groups and for sometimes business groups. But our main, main focus is to the students. Just take care of yourself, keep in your heart the love that you have for each other and for your family. These are the best years of your life right now. I know it has made an impact on my granddaughter. We had a presentation at her school. She has a good understanding of the sacrifices. And what I mean by that, in a conversation a couple of months ago, I asked what she's doing at school and she told me she's reading a book. So I figured it was a typical seven, uh, she was in seventh grade, so I thought, okay, it's a teenage, whatever that would be, book. Well, it was a book about one of the concentration camps in Germany. The heroine in the book was a young girl who was in charge of the secret library. So they had books that they had hidden from the German guards, and she was the librarian. So my granddaughter, uh, she selected the book, and so she learned about the concentration camps, about the horrible, the Nazi uh, concentration camps. And, and I thought, you know what? Um, I, was, I was very, very proud. And then our uh, big event is the Memorial Day at Harbor Lawn the presentation. We have our veterans march in with the service flags, the Army, Navy, uh, the rest of the flags, and also we have wreaths for 15 uh, events, like starting with World War I, all the way through Pearl Harbor and current uh, wars today. In addition to that, we have a monthly community meeting. We'll have about 100 to 140 people at our meetings. 
about half of those, 70, 75, are veterans. Then we have our associate members and guests. One of our veterans will do his presentation. It feels like it's just this uh, group of people that you'd like to have as neighbors. That, like, not everybody thinks alike, but you, we all have a common thing, and that was serving our country.